What is going on? I'm making your food. You have hay. Luna? Joe? Oh, who was that one? That's a new bleed. I know your your voice, Joe. I'm making your food. You guys are very chatty this morning. Very chatty. ready for brunch? Yeah? Who is over there still? There's nothing. No, I'm over here. I'm on this side, you guys. I didn't bring your food yet. It's over here. Babies! Luna. think you get to go outside today. You guys gonna let me talk or you're gonna keep interrupting? Oh really Frankie? I hear your little voice. Who else? Luna? <laughs> Pan get off of her! Oh, wait that's not Pan. Who is that? Leaves! No, Lynx, no. You guys gotta wait for the water to heat up. And now you guys are getting the OGs riled up. Do you guys have a... a a lot going on last night, you are so chatty this morning. You too, Mama Betty? Hi, Itsy Bitsy. Hi, Itsy Bitsy. Just babies on this side, nothing to see. Babies, we are on the wrong side. For anybody who's logged on, um, they just ran to the other side for some reason. I'm making their breakfast. They have, um, they actually have plenty of hay to eat. They've been eating a lot more hay and they just got cut down to two feedings a day versus three. Um, and they're very chatty this morning. So hopefully they'll come back to this side. Babies! Babies, babies, babies! Turin, come on babies! Babies! I'm mixing up their formula for them, so I have to figure out if I'm gonna feed them on this side or the other side. Is everybody. So they are all mixed in with the babies who do have mamas. In the very back there next to the um, water bucket, that silver bucket, that's one of the moms. She's pretty small, but that's one of our mamas. Her ba baby is on the other side. Um, it's the black and white one, who is Dread Pirate Roberts. And we're calling his mama Betty White. Babies you see on this side right now, up on top, of the spool is Luna. Luna! That's her. Um, next to her is Lynx and Frankie. Lynx is the one sniffing her. Frankie is the other one. 
Let's see. Oh, oh no, boys, be nice. Boys. Oh my goodness. Um, they're getting older. Hormones are kicking in, as you can see. They will probably be getting banded maybe in another month, I think. Oh, you can see Dread Pirate Roberts is feeding from his mama back there. Off to the corner, the black and white, mostly black, is Turin. The brown with the really pretty markings is Denancy. Under the spool, we have Mr. Crowley. Here at the end, almost gonna get knocked off with the blue collar is Joe. We got Smaug underneath eating some hay. They're all very vocal this morning, so I thought um, I would turn on the live. Because of the weather and everything, um, schedules are a little off, so we have to clean up their pen as well, but I'm gonna feed them first, and the person who's actually gonna come and do basics will be showing up later. And if not, I'll probably, I'll probably help out either way, um, but I wanna feed them first, just so they get their brunch. Yeah, I'm talking about you guys, Luna. Luna is our only little girl. And in all my years of volunteering, she is definitely one that I feel like she looks like a little girl. In the past, the few uh, baby girls that we've had, they all kind of look the same as the boys. But there's something, Luna just, I don't know if she just has a smaller little face or if it's her coloring, but we all kind of agree that she definitely looks like a little girl. <clears throat> little girl baby goat. So I'm warming up the water right now um, to mix their formula so that it's not cold since it is chilly and has been raining here in San Francisco. So they'll be eating shortly and I will probably just feed them on the other side where they usually eat. So if there's people still logged on, um, I may just move the camera to the other side so you can watch them. Hopefully they won't knock over the, water, the milk bucket like they usually do to me in other, other feedings. So we'll see. Almost time, you guys. It's almost time. I'm making your milk. So let's uh, keep the inappropriate behavior to a minimum. For those who just logged on, I'm making their milk. So they're just hanging out. They have plenty of hay to eat, um, but they, I think they know it's, it's milk time. And if you've been following us since we got these babies, um, you can see how much bigger they've gotten. Everybody has their little horns, even tiny little Smaug. He's still the smallest, but he's a big boy now. He has his horns, he eats from the bucket, no more special bottle. Um, they're all doing really well. You can see some of them just have huge horns now. They were definitely the older of the bunch. Yeah, you too, Frankie. Look at your horns. And some of the ones that were a little bit almost pure white when we got them um, have new markings showing up. So Frankie's still pretty, pretty white with the exception of one or two spots. But Lynx, who almost looked exactly like Frankie, um, I think he's the one, yeah, he's the one over there by Luna. He has some markings around his eyes now. He has a little dark spot under his chin. So it's really interesting to see how they change as they get older. Yeah, you too, Pan. You too, you have new markings. And you have the biggest horns. Yeah, you're the biggest brother. That's why you got that name. Almost. I know you smell it. 
Tell a story, Luna. Joe, you, you two are the most vocal. You guys got stories? Do you know you're on camera, Luna? I feel like you always know. time for milk, a little more mixing. Goats are us. My goodness, you guys are so vocal this morning. You guys got stories of last night's rain? It's so funny to hear. I don't know if you guys can hear all the different bleats, but everybody has a very distinct little bleat. Yeah, you two little pant. How is it that you have such a tiny bleat and you're our biggest guy? Hmm? You're so precious. Look at that handsome face. Almost time, almost time. I No, I said it was almost time. <laughs> it's not time yet. They know that the milk goes on the other side, but I'm still here putting in the nipples and, uh, and tubes. You guys, not yet. I think they smell it. staring at me, yelling at me to go faster. Yeah? Is that what you're doing? Roberts, how'd you get up there? Okay, almost. Hey, Smelgy Smelg, get in the further back so everybody can see how big you got. Yeah, jump up on the thing. Okay, almost. 
almost, you guys. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. It's a little cold. I know, I know. Okay, so for those that are watching, I'm going to move you to the other side because I'm about to take the buckets over to them. So this is where they're waiting. This is where they're gonna eat. Sorry for the movement, I have to set this up. Oh, they know. Look at that, they know, they're running over. Okay, apologies for all of the movement. I have to get this set up so no one knocks it down. Okay, chaos is about to happen. You'll see it. Everyone cross their fingers for me that no one knocks down the holder like they've been doing the last couple weeks.
Okay. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll bring you over to this side so you can see. They came back to this side and usually they mellow out after dinner. I mean, excuse me, um, breakfast. This little black and white, that's Dread Pirate Roberts. He has a mom, which is why he was just standing on the bucket because that's his mama. So he gets mama's milk. Um, these guys are definitely all milk drunk. They drank, they completely finished their um, buckets, each of them. Some may have gotten more than their share, but that's baby goat life. So I am going to get them some more hay now because um, if you weren't on in the beginning, they were at three feedings a day. And just recently we cut them back to two feedings a day because they are older. So they don't get lunch, they get a later breakfast and they get dinner. And then they have hay to eat, alfalfa, to eat throughout the day. So they are definitely getting their share, but they still get the milk to get um, the milk formula replacement to get the additional nutrients and protein. So I can't tell what these guys are doing. I may leave this on a little while longer, see if they, they do anything exciting. They've quieted down, that's for sure. You would think they were starving, but um, when I first walked in, they were all chomping on hay. So that's just kind of part of it. You have to learn when they're fooling you and um, fooling you into thinking they're starving and they need more food versus they just want to be chatty. I personally usually fall for it and think that, you know, they need more food, but um, I've been here long enough to know that that's just what they do. Even the babies, even the cute little babies like you, huh, Frankie? Oh, you're milk drunk now. Look at you all wobbly and slow. Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like they're doing much. So thanks everyone for watching and have a good rest of your day.